Roger, this is a large scene that they have taped off in this area. We're on Asylum Avenue, and you can see just over that hill. That's where the crash happened near Asylum and Cogswell. And you can still see the police cruiser and one other car that were damaged in this crash. Hartford police have confirmed that one officer died, another was injured and taken to the hospital, and one suspect is in custody. All throughout the night, we've seen state troopers taking photos of the scene collecting evidence as they work to figure out exactly what happened. Police have not yet released any details about what may have led up to this crash, but they are still looking into this. You're going to want to avoid this area downtown. Again, one officer dead, another injured. Police saying that officer that was injured saying stable, but guarded condition, working to learn more details there. Marcy Jones is at St. Francis Hospital where monitoring what's happening there. And Marcy, we've heard that there's been officers kind of gathering there. What can you tell us? What are you seeing? Morning, Cassidy. Heavy hearts all around St. Francis Hospital. I'm going to step out of the way. Now, there are dozens of officers. They've been standing out here together, hugging, crying, uh, showing signs of support and waiting for any updates. You can see a couple of cruisers out here, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many wrapped around the hospital. It has been confirmed, as you mentioned, that one Hartford police officer has been pronounced dead following this horrific motor vehicle crash. A second officer is listed in stable, but guarded condition, which means the outlook can be very questionable. While the main focus here, of course, is on the surviving officer, it has also been confirmed that a suspect is in custody. We've been told to expect more confirmed details uh, later given to us by the police chief. No time has been given to to us for that. However, as soon as we get that information, we'll bring that to you. But for now, that's the latest. Back to you.